Hey YouTube, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR 46 Team Doubles gameplay, and this one is on Haven. So, right off the bat, the initial start on Haven is usually pretty interesting. I end up getting pushed off by my teammate, but nevertheless, uh, you wanna usually push for a railgun. And you can see right there, my teammate gets picked off, and the other guy gets railgun, and he hits a very, very nice shot on me. There's nothing much I could do there, but when you know the teammate, uh, when you know the enemy has railgun, you have to change up your play style a lot. As you can see right now, I'm just trying to isolate mine because he pushed a little bit too far top mid, and now I just push toward my teammate. And what I'm trying to do is maintain a place where I can quickly move behind cover if I know the railgun is near. Obviously, it didn't work there. Sometimes you just don't know where the railgun guy is, and there's nothing you can do about it. So you'll notice right off the bat, they have railgun control, there's nothing we can really do. Um, I have one guy chasing me, I toss a bad nade there, and I end up getting cleaned up. Yeah, my teammate ends up dying, so we're down 5 kills right now, and I believe they still have railgun control. So this, yeah, yeah, see, uh, everything's going wrong. I slid off right there, and I tell my teammates to just wait for me to spawn. They're really, Haven more than any other map uh, is just tempting to move in by herself. Uh, but m it's also more than most other maps important that you move in with your teammate and that you double team. So you can notice right there we uh, double team one guy and then we end up getting picked off from another guy but it doesn't really matter um, as long as we're playing as a team you know usually you're going to continue to play better and usually it's going to go in your favor so one thing about this map is that the railgun and sticky debt are both very very powerful you always want to go for them especially when there are only two people on the map um, you should play doubles differently than you do 4v4s, um, and you should play doubles differently than you do FFAs on Haven. Um, doubles, power weapons are huge. Positioning is huge. You can see right now, we have top mid control, and we just keep racking up the kills. Uh, this guy rushes me, my teammate rails him, um, we're already up to 90-90 right now. So even though we were down like 5 kills, we came back because we just held top control. It's extremely important. And you can see right then that a guy comes behind me, gets me pretty weak, and then his teammate lifts on me and picks me off. That's another thing about Haven is that you have to choose when you push. If the other team has top mid control, like they do right now, they're not really going to sacrifice that top control. So you have to choose when to push in with your teammate. This quiet guy overextends, he ends up getting double teamed, and we're both alive to double team the next guy. So I know my teammate's going wing, he pushes open ramp so I can push top mid as well. I call out that they're both here, my teammate comes in to assist me, I end up getting one kill and my teammate picks off the other guy. So you'll notice what I do right here is I just stay top mid there's no real real reason for me to move out to the streets they will come to me haven if you stay top mid you will eventually run into them because they almost always push top mid and another thing i recommend if you don't have one is to get a headset and a headset could be you know astray 40s it could be tritons i personally use tritons but um that's just because they've been a reliable headset for me and I don't really see a need to get any other headset they work perfectly fine but what headsets do is that they pretty much amplify I don't know if they amplify but you're able to hear the other team's footsteps and your teammates footsteps extremely well so especially on Haven if you stay top mid you're gonna be able to just stand still and know exactly where the other team is pretty much at all times especially if they're near you so that's something I always recommend doing, um, and a lot of the times in doubles, you know, knowing where the other team is is key. 
So right there, the other team traded out pretty well, and they still have Railgun. But my teammate ends up moving in. You'll see that my teammate moves in. I didn't really want him to move in there, just because, you know, I wasn't alive. But he ends up staying alive until I can push in with him. So I'm looking Red Street, because I assume uh, the enemy and his teammate are both there. And my teammate gets this guy weak, I end up cleaning up the kill, and we immediately look for the other guy since we know it's 2v1. I get mined pretty weak, and I call out to my teammate that he's bottom red. I end up picking him off though. Alright, so we're up 3 kills, and we are both bottom closed. And we know top mid control is essential, so he moves up one side, I move up the other side. And we're trying to just get top mid control. And I weaken quiet, I end up picking him off, I call out the, that the other guy's blue street, and I just try to put shots into him. I don't want to push anything, I don't want to be too aggressive here. If I'm too aggressive, I could end up getting picked off and lose top mid control. So, I just want to make sure that I'm working with my teammate and I'm pushing with him. He ends up dying, but I know that he weakened this guy, so I clean him up. Once you clean up one guy in doubles, chances are the other guy is going to be rushing you, so that's what I am aware of, and I just try to stay back, I try to stay alive, and I'm able to do that. And Mind ends up, you know, catching me off guard, he picks me off, there's nothing I can really do in that situation, um, it's just bad awareness by m me, and... You know, there's, there's not much you can do except call it out to your teammate and uh, just try to keep playing your game. Things oftentimes don't go your way in Halo, but a lot of the times they do go your way. So, you know, you can't get frustrated when things don't go your way, when positioning is bad, when, you know, you're offset spawning with your teammate and you just keep getting double teamed. You just have to, you know, play passively, slow down the game, make your opponents play at your pace and usually you can come back and end up winning the game. So right here it was huge. We killed one guy and we end up taking the, out the other guy and we have railgun control. I end up getting naded. Extreme, that was an extremely good nade on Mohawk. But I know that I can just spawn, get my railgun because my teammate's playing passively and getting me a good spawn. So we want to push for top mid control because we know it's extremely important. I don't know how I missed that railgun, but I end up, you know, getting into a fight with both of them. I just keep missing railguns. I get a pretty nice nade, and I clean up mind. The other guy's rushing me, but my I know my teammate's there, so I'm just going to run away and try to get top mid control again, and it ends up working out for me. I pick, out, uh, pick off quiet with the last railgun shot. And right here, what I'm doing is just listening for footsteps, listening for my teammates' callouts. He called out that they're open ramp, so I just rush this guy, end up picking him off, and the other guy's behind me. I don't even care if I die in that situation, since I know my teammate's right there to pick off the kill. And we only need two more kills, so what we're going to do is just, you know, stay top mid. That guy makes a bad play, he lifts into both of us. And I just pop out, get a couple of shots on mind. My teammate is able to pick him off. So we end up winning that. Um, really what helped us win that was just we kept uh, trading out. We kept, you know, getting top mid control. We tried to call out and respond to callouts as much as we could. It's a pretty easy match on Haven if you maintain top control. And you make sure that they don't constantly get a rail and sticky debt spawns. So, once again, that was a CSR 46 doubles gameplay. I ended up getting 22 kills, and that was a pretty good match, in my opinion, and pretty good teamwork. Um, we both had a decent amount of assists, and that's all you can ask for in doubles. Anyway, um, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and comment if you have any suggestions or if you have anything to say, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, that is all. More gameplays to come, and see you later.